What is up guys, Kiro Cristales here and in today's video you're basically gonna see a snippet of a video that I just uploaded into the Growth Hacking Bootcamp where I showcase the exact method that we use to scrape unlimited local leads. So this video basically goes through the Python script that we use to scrape yellow pages, as well as the pro plus sheet functionalities that we then use to scrape the email addresses, the phone numbers, validate them, enrich, generate compliments, etc. Uh, for the full video, check the description below. It is a module in the Growth Hacking Bootcamp, which is available to everyone. And also make sure to join our free community. So the code that we're basically using in this case is a Python file that's been created to essentially scrape yellow page listings for URLs. Now, if you've watched the Pro Plus uh, videos as well and the applications of the Pro Plus sheet, you understand that with simple URLs, a lot can be done. From a simple URL, we can now with the Pro Plus sheet scrape phone numbers, we can scrape generic emails, we can scrape meta descriptions, we can generate uh, we can generate compliments based on that meta description that are individual and uh, that are unique uh, to that specific company. We can also use other tools to scrape the social profiles of that URL, referring to Scrapebox in this case. I don't doubt that uh, we'll very soon have it on the Pro Plus sheet. There's a lot that we can do from a simple URL. We, we, we don't need to scrape the entirety of the yellow pages. And this is exactly what this code does, right? It is a simple Python file called one link gen y pages and it scrapes the entirety of the yellow pages for a certain company type that you might want. The layout of it is simple. Here you would enter your proxies, right? Even if you try to take my proxies right now, which some of you might, uh, it won't work because they're restricted to only my IP. Only my IP has been whitelisted on it. And if you use the same proxy provider that I'm gonna showcase, you're gonna be having the exact same thing. So even if you copy paste these proxies, they won't work for you. Um, and what it does is, is it basically scrapes all of these links, right, for all the locations, all the states throughout the entirety of the US for, let's say, roofing companies. Now, if we wanted to change this, we'd simply do a control H, right, find and replace on Windows for Mac. Best of luck. <laughs> I, I, I have no clue with regards to MacBooks. Um, but if we wanted to change it, we'd change it from roofing to, let's say, carpenter or carpenters. We need to find out what the actual uh, unique identifier is on the yellow pages, which I'll be showcasing right now. But if we wanted to change it to carpenters, we would basically click this, and now we're gonna be scraping carpenters. Uh, the thing in action is very simple. Every time we make an edit, control S, so we actually save the file, and then we click this, uh, run Python file in terminal. You can actually see the code in action. It is now scraping for all carpenters across the entirety of the yellow pages from the all links generated. So right here, we've basically literally got every single link for every single state up to a hundred pages. And uh, the code is also smart. It's running 10 threads at once to speed things up, as well as it also has a fail safe. So as soon as it reaches no more results on a single page, it's gonna skip the rest of the pages and jump to the next state, uh, which you'll see right here from skipping. It also has an inbuilt stop function. So from within the terminal, if you spam control S, right, it's gonna start skipping and it will stop. So scrape and complete, and it will save the CSV. Now it's called day spas in this case, because I haven't changed the name here uh, in what I want the, uh, the CSV, the output file name to be changed as, which you can do. Uh, in our case, it'd be carpenters.csv. But this is a uh, quick uh, showcase of the links that it's able to scrape. Now, of course, we can clean these links further to be left with a root URL uh, once we're on the Pro Plus sheet. But this is a uh, quick guide with regards to that. Now, before we get to the code, it's important to understand the website itself and how it can actually be navigated. So this is the actual website that we're collecting data from in this case. Let's say hypothetically we wanted to scrape electricians, right? which is what we're gonna do right now. Now there's a lot of different categories. You can find all the uh, listing categories. You can find all the listing categories by searching by city. So like Los Angeles, if you click on LA, uh, then you can see all the additional categories that are available right here. Now I have a secondary scraper that I'm developing to be able to scrape all the businesses within a single state, as opposed to all categories across all states. But right now we're keeping it with a simplified version. So for instance, if we wanted to scrape all 
towing businesses right across all states, we can see immediately that the identifier is basically towing. So we would take this, we would hop over to all links generated. We would then control H in this case. So find and replace towing, uh, sorry, find and replace carpenters, pinters to towing. We then change all the links. So mass replace and we'd save. So all links generated is now saved. And then we'd come here and output file name towing.csv control s and then control s save all your proxies have been placed which we'll get into uh, a little bit later on run python file and terminal and as you can see right now it's going to start scraping all the towing businesses that are available to also start skipping there's not a lot of towing businesses but uh, it's basically going to start scraping as many as it can possibly find now, of course you will also scrape a couple of facebook's and all that you you essentially just mass clean the actual csv list and remove all unnecessary urls scrapebox used to do that quite well and it still does but i'm not sure if all of you have access to it uh, to essentially clean trim and remove any url that isn't essentially a url um, so it's currently scraping let it scrape for a bit as you can see it's already populating so we've got a bunch now if we were to plug this into the pro plus sheet as you're well aware we'd be able to do a lot however whilst this is uh scraping i'll end it right now because it's just for example sake keep in mind that it will scrape all states all pages per category you can expect within an hour or two depending upon your setup your computer your internet connection you can easily expect anywhere from 15 to 25,000 URLs. This is a, uh, it's a big shovel at the end of the day. This isn't a, uh, you know, a LinkedIn scraper with uh, 500 uh, profiles and then you work with it like that. No, this will scrape like 15,000, 25,000 businesses within an hour or two, and then you're able to work with it. However, for example's sake right now, we're gonna control S, right, skipping URL. And as I mentioned, all this code is available on the Google Drive below. If you have Pro Plus request access, it's gonna be given to you within five to 10 minutes. If you don't have Pro Plus, there's a link to subscribe to Pro Plus in the description under this video below. It's worth it, you'd be getting access to this, the Pro Plus members group, the Thursday weekly live calls, the entire bootcamp drive data templates, as well as the actual Pro Plus sheet, which we'll be showcasing as well um it's a uh, it's becoming an easy sale uh as of present anyways without a further ado so to set this up right first and foremost you're going to open this file in vsc to download vsc i'll include the link below i'll also include a description on how to set it up it's very very easy i know it looks complicated from the start but if I were to take a seven-year-old and explain to the seven-year-old face-to-face what needs to be done, I have no doubt that they'd be able to do it. So I'm pretty confident that you guys can do it too. Now, for this code, we need to basically pip install requests and we also need to pip install beautiful soup. Now you're probably thinking, what is pip install? As soon as you open this up, you're gonna go here, open the terminal, right? And then you're gonna type in pip install requests and then pip install beautiful soup. Now it's gonna tell me it's already installed here. Perfect. And then pip install beautiful soup. Now, some of you might not even have Python installed, right? Uh, which is not a problem. If you're on Windows, go on the Windows App Store. So in this case, and download the latest version. And then restart VSC. And then do the steps that I mentioned right now. Pip install uh, beautiful soup for and pip install uh, request. So Python basically i've already got it installed so 3.12 get 3.11 or 3.12 i'd go for 3.12 basically um you go here you click on get install it's going to run the installation for you if you're on mac i have no idea what you need to do you need to jump into the youtubes uh, to find some guy like that because i i personally don't use mac once you've installed python and once you've installed pip install requests and beautiful soup 4 you're able to start working with this if you have any other problems that are uh, apart from what I've mentioned right now, ping me in Pro Plus group. I'm gonna troubleshoot your problem for you because I want you to get this working. Then you're gonna make sure you have the all links generated file right here. 
and you're going to make sure that you've installed your proxies. Now for the proxies, we're essentially using uh, rotating proxies, as you can see right here. These are my proxies, right? So you need to pay, get an account, get your proxies. I've included the link for this in the description below. You'll then receive an email guiding you to your dashboard where you can see all your proxies. What you're going to do in that case is you're going to take these proxies that you're going to get after you whitelist and authorize your IP. So you're going to go on www, you're going to go on what is my IP address? You're going to get that IP address and then you're going to whitelist it. You're going to wait 24 hours. They're going to whitelist you and then you're going to get your proxies. Once you've got your proxies, right? You will then go here and replace the proxies that you see right here with your proxies. Simple as that. You're gonna put your proxies in there, make sure it's in the same format. And then if you're on Windows, you're gonna press Control S to actually save and be able to run the actual code itself. Very, very simple. Then uh, you're going to essentially go here, right? Uh, to all links generated.csv, mass change, so towing to whatever you basically wanna scrape. Let's say you're on this, right? So you want to scrape dentists all across the entirety of the US. You'd go here, you discover the identifier, which in this case is dentist, simple as that. You'd go back to the code itself, you would control H, right? And then towing, switch to dentists, mass replace, and then control S, save. You would then go to the main Python code, right? You would leave input file name the same, you would never change it output file name here you would change it to dentist.csv simple as that so after you've installed your code you've installed your proxies right uh you've uh, you've installed the request beautiful soup and python in reverse order uh you're able to run this so run python file in terminal run it and as you can see right now it's scraping for dentists across the entirety of the us